it began with an idea. An idea that created products for better living. Products that changed the way we talk, the way we eat and the way we live. Every day, millions of these products make their journey from one side of the world, from one hand to another, until it reaches its destination. It all begins here with Port Klang. Since the 1900s, Port Klang has always been destined for greatness. Port Klang, or Port Swettenham, as it was first known, began operations in September 1901. Since then, the port has grown in terms of strength and stature. Port Klang saw two major milestones in the 70s. The first was the move into the era of containerization. The second was the rapid expansion and renaming of Port Swettenham to Port Klang. In the 80s and 90s, the outlook of Port Klang's operations changed significantly with the era of privatization. Port Klang began its privatization process in 1986 with only the container operations and soon expanded to other areas. By the mid-90s, all of Port Klang's daily operations were fully privatized, with the Port Authority remaining as a government statutory body and landlord, fulfilling its roles of port regulator and trade facilitator. Currently, Port Klang ranks as one of the world's top container ports. Port Klang's success is attributed to many factors. For one, Port Klang is perfectly positioned in the heart of the world's busiest sea lanes, the Straits of Malacca, and is located in the business and industrial hub of the Klang Valley, about 40 kilometers away from Malaysia's capital city, Kuala Lumpur. A symbol of global connectivity, Port Klang is linked over 600 ports in 120 countries across six continents. It is the first port of call for eastbound and the last port of call for westbound cargo ships. Port Klang is the trendsetter when it comes to efficiency and connectivity. With superb multi-lane highways, high-capacity freight train services and the Kuala Lumpur International Airport just 40 minutes away, this ready and easy availability of multimodal infrastructure is almost unparalleled anywhere else in Asia. Port Klang is directly linked to the inland ports of Ipoh Cargo Terminal and the Sagamat Inland Port that are also its joint venture entities. PKA is also the regulating authority overseeing the Malacca port operations. Its land reach currently covers Singapore and Thailand and plans are underway to extend this to Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam and China. This logistical framework allows easy access and fast distribution of goods across the nation. Port Klang features North Port and West Ports, two terminals that are privately owned and managed, as well as the Port Klang Free Zone, a subsidiary company under the Port Authority. Initially administered by the Malayan Railway, the Port Authority was established to take over the operations of the port in 1963. Port Klang Authority's vision is Port Klang as the national load centre, whilst developing it as the preferred logistic hub for the Asian region. To achieve this mission, the Authority aims to provide the highest standards in cargo safety, security and workforce, ensuring a safe haven for ships through cutting-edge security infrastructures. Port Klang is a partner of the US-led Container Security Initiative and Megaport Initiative as well as a fully ISPS certified and compliant body. Its emergency response teams are merely minutes away to deal with any situation that may arise. Port Klang works hard at providing a conducive commercial environment. Adopting a supply-driven and environmentally sustainable approach when it comes to its port's infrastructure, facilities and services. With an integrated IT system, Port Klang is continuously enhancing and developing new systems to improve trade facilitation, ensuring real-time information is available at your fingertips. Our paperless transactions save time, money and is eco-friendly too. Port Klang stands for cost-effective services at world-class port standards and is constantly working towards increase in its efficiency and performances.
Although Port Klang is world-renowned for its container operations, Port Klang's terminals offer state-of-the-art facilities for handling of all cargo types. It is also fully equipped with other ancillary and supporting services which include bunkering, ship repair and many more. Port Klang Authority also administers free zones within North Port and West Ports as well as Port Klang Free Zone or PKFZ. PKFZ is Malaysia's first fully integrated free commercial and industrial zone. Its facilities include light industrial warehouse units, prepared industrial land and business complexes for your every need. Port Klang is also equipped with a passenger terminal for crews, mainly star cruises and is actively involved in naval tourism services. Domestic tourism related activities are also encouraged around Port Klang. Port Klang wishes to continue and grow their corporate social responsibility initiatives by helping nearby communities to grow together and committing ourselves to the protection of the environment and greening of the port. The future looks bright for Port Klang, who is ready to challenge for the top 10 container ports in the world. Navigating this dream through the uncharted waters of the future is the Port Klang Development Master Plan. A blueprint for the future, which brings continuous improvement in terms of facilities, service quality and volume of cargo handled year after year, until we become the best port in the world. As the load centre for the nation and the preferred logistics hub for the Asian region, our presence is felt everywhere. The gateway to a better future begins with Port Klang.